Wins that battle in the corner. Feeds it back on the point. Tippins in. Looking for a second. It's gone. Steenberg against Cat in the lead. Tyler Steenbergen, the only Canadian forward who hasn't scored, has won now, and the biggest goal of the tournament so far. Tyler Steenbergen has barely played in this tournament. He's been more in the rotation tonight as Jonah Gad Gadjevic has been pulled out of the group. Drake Batherson, who's had an amazing tournament, wins this puck battle for Bolvarar. Steenbergen, who's got 86 goals in his last 99 games in the Western Hockey League, comes to the front of the net. He's got a stick on the ice. It is a beautiful deflection off the Timmons pass shot. And Canada, late, has taken a 2-1 lead. Steenbergen played three minutes and 17 seconds in the first two periods of this game. And now with 1.39 to go, Canada's on top. Here comes Gustin in the Swedish pitch. Lilligan fires it around. Chopped up by Mete up the center ice. Elias Pettersson with it. Six on five now for the Swedes. They did not trail in the tournament part of this game. Now they're down for the second time. Lilligan moves in. Takes a puck there from Howard. Moved down the ice by Mete. Here comes Forbidden. Alex Forbidden in. Shoot. Score. Alex Forbidden. And it's 3 1 Canada. Here's a look at the four, at the Steenbergen goal again. Steenbergen's in the corner. He's going to get to the net. Man, I've loved Connor Timmons' game in this World Champ, World Junior Championship. This pass threaded through Lind Lindstrom's legs. Steenbergen puts it away, and then with the net empty, Alex Forbidden his line with Pontois and Howden has been a tower of strength for Canada. And after. A bitter disappointment last year. Canada now a minute 14 away from winning World Junior Gold for the second time in nine years. And not just redemption for last year, Ray, redemption for 2011. The lead that got away in this building in the gold medal game against Russia. Man for the Swedes, it's 44 straight preliminary round wins again. They win every time in the preliminary rounds. They haven't lost in an opening round game since 08. In comes Dubé now, Dubé shoots, which is high and wide. And that puck was played with a high stick. And play is called with 56 seconds to go in the third period. The heartbreak for the Swedish team is hard to comprehend. If you would have told me the Swedes would kill off five Canadian power plays, I would think they would have a great chance to win. Tied 1-1 in the third. They hit a goal post. The game is so evenly played. It's one play, one moment. Tyler Steenbergen has a stick on the ice. He drives the net. And Connor Timmins, who to me has been a revelation in this tournament, makes a gorgeous feed to set the winning goal up. And Ray, we talked about depth before the tournament. Canada has 15 different goal scorers now. Canada's got 13 forwards on their roster. That was the 13th with a goal, and it's Tyler Steenberg. Timmons plays it around the Swedish net as a game empty. Shot towards the goal, and behind the play. We're going to have a penalty here, and I think it's Solman going on. And so with 51 seconds to go, Canada will get another power play. Solman takes Timmons in. That's frustration and it's disappointment. And the sixth time the Swedes have been shorthanded tonight. Victor Mete picks up an assist on the Formanton empty net goal. But the big one, the 2 1 goal, Tyler Steenbergen for Connor Timmons. And that play starts with Drake, Drake Batherson's excellent work below the goal line to free the puck. 
Batherson goes back across to Timmons. Look at Timmons, head up the whole way. That's a sweet feed. And Steenbergen chips it back behind Gustafson. The guy they talked about maybe breaking your Western Hockey League goal scoring record, Ray. I got to tell you, Gord, I'm kind of proud of him. He hasn't had much of a role in this tournament. And you hang in, and you hang in, and you wait for your chance. And he's gotten more of a chance tonight, albeit a limited chance. He gets one great chance, and he doesn't miss. And a goal of a lifetime. Some people say he's just an opportunist. Yeah, maybe he is. That's what opportunists do. You get one chance, you don't miss. That was centering pass and falling there with Sheldon. Got it now by Janssen. Axel Janssen works in, drops it back. That shot fired high by Davidson. 30 seconds to go in the third period. And a cauldron of red and white starting to bubble here in Buffalo.